welcome to today's tip of the day and as you see we've got a gld chart up uh, the etf that tracks gold it is in fact the fifth largest gold holder on the planet and we've got some interesting price action as you'll see we've got uh, two pivot highs here you'll see it around about 106.20 uh, which corresponds quite nicely to a support here and resistance here so quite a key line in the sand this 106 mark and we broke through it yesterday you'll see there we've got a quite a large candle took it up to 107.29 uh, close towards the top of the bar and you'll see also down the bottom we've got three bars of buying volume there'll be a fourth there relating to last night's trading if we look at other time frames let's look at the two-day chart you'll see again we've broken that pivot high that was there at the end of december uh, so there we've got that break and we could be up as far as 110 pretty quickly if we get some continued buying see the heat map has also turned bright green which is consistent with the hawkeye entry so green heat map green volume green trend on, on the two day as well as the daily chart we'll skip to the weekly chart we've got it moving from downtrend up into congestion but there again we've got the green volume coming in on our slower time frame we don't take the heat map into account so those three charts indicate that this is consistent with a Hawkeye entry. Interestingly, if we take it back to the daily chart, and this is why some people prefer trading this if they want gold exposure to stocks. If we look at the ETFs that track gold stocks, uh, the most common is GDX. We'll see GDX is lagging behind. We've got the buying volume coming in, so it could be worth having on your radar, but really we're sort of stuck here around about $14 in congestion and really we're looking for a break of around about 1440 uh, to even consider entry on this and preferably over 15. If we look at GDXJ which is the junior miners we're still in downtrend on this although you can see that we have moved up with three higher highs over the last three days. So not yet an entry on GDX, not yet an entry on GDXJ, but the pure play, the GLD play, which mirrors the movement of gold, looks like the one it could be to focus your attentions on. In terms of strategy, that's something that is really your call. We tend to look less at the SPY for our decisions on what we do with commodity ETFs, uh, but nevertheless, we need to take into account that the market is volatile. And that's just one of the trades I'm considering for today. So before we go, if you'd like to see everything I'm considering and see the trades I'm really taking, why not take a trial to my Options Elite Alert and Trading Service? That way, you can see exactly how I find the best trades that can produce the largest returns whilst keeping the risk low. Just click on the link below and get started today. You'll be glad you did. See you soon.